Welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. Good morning, thanks for joining us. We have a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your cameras and microphones are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you, which is great because then you don't have to worry about what you look like on camera. You can just sit back, relax, and listen to this great information being presented in this session this morning. This is just one of many different sessions happening. Be sure to sign up for additional sessions where you signed up for this one. And this presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week. Again, the same website where you registered. When you use the Q&A uh, to ask questions, make sure if it's specific to a school, you name the school in your question so the representative knows uh, to pick up that question for you. We are in session A3. This is a where I'm putting the pretend laser pointer over it. So that is the order of the schools presenting this morning. So I've gotten all the administrative stuff out of the way, so I will get out of the way and we'll turn it over to our first uh, representative from Drake University. All right, good morning, everybody. I hope you can see that. Uh, so yeah, I, my name is Evan Favreau and I am the admission counselor from Drake University that works with students from Kansas. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Drake, hopefully that's, uh, I guess, part of the reason why you're here. Uh, we are a medium-sized private school located in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, but first, let's talk about maybe the most important thing. At Drake, we are the Drake Bulldogs, and we actually do have our own Bulldog. If you see my virtual background, this is Griff. And Griff is our live mascot. So um, there's lots of other good things to know about Drake, but this is maybe the most important thing. Well, let's look at just some of the basic stats of what Drake is all about. And like I said, we are very much a medium-sized school. Uh, we have about 3,000 undergraduate students, and when you add in our graduate students, we're closer to 5,000. So we're definitely like a smaller medium-sized school, but when it comes to private schools, we are the largest private school in Iowa. And so with this size at Drake, you absolutely get a lot of those small school benefits with small class sizes, personal attention, no teaching assistance. That's very much part of the high quality education that you get at Drake with that size. But we also have a lot to uh, offer in terms of opportunities and the different types of experiences you can have at Drake. We have a little bit more of that to offer than what some other like really small schools have. And a big part of that is what you can study. And at Drake, we do have over 100 different majors and programs that you can study at the undergraduate level. So you can see uh, where they kind of fall into our different colleges and schools that are part of the university. So we do have business, education, journalism and mass communication, pharmacy and health sciences. Health sciences is great for a variety of healthcare careers, especially if you're looking at something like pre-medicine. Um, we also have our own law school at Drake. And then in the College of Arts and Sciences, that's where we also have programs in the fine arts, like BFA, theater, and music programs. We do have humanities and social sciences and natural sciences. So there's a really good chance that if you know what you want to study, that you're going to be able to find that at Drake. And also, if you have no idea what you want to study, that's totally fine too. Most Drake students, or not most, but a, a good number of Drake students come to Drake uh, being an open or undeclared major, and that's totally normal. It's also really easy to study more than one thing. A majority of Drake students are doing either a double major or they're combining their majors into, um, you know, like uh, doing minors, concentrations, finding that right mix of areas that they want to study. So all those are, are definitely possibilities. And most students are still graduating on time. That part's important. But we also, in addition to those academic programs, have a lot to offer outside of the classroom. We do have 140 student organizations at Drake. It's really easy to study uh, you know, one major and then participate in groups that have nothing to do with that major. So if you want to be a business student, you can still play in the orchestra and still get a music scholarship. Uh, or if you are a neuroscience student, you can still write for our, uh, you know, nationally award-winning uh, journalism publications, the Times Delphic and Drake Magazine. Those are all possibilities for sure. We do have Division I athletics at Drake. That's pretty uncommon for a school of our size. So we have that top tier uh, NCAA competition happening on campus with football, basketball, soccer, those types of, of sports. Um, and so that's, that's a really exciting thing to take advantage of when you're a student. And we also, at Drake, most of our students are not from uh, Iowa. Uh, majority of our students are coming from outside of the state. So that really informs the experience you have on campus, where students aren't going home every weekend, they're not living just a few minutes from, from home, um, they're on campus. So it's a very robust residential experience um, and a lot to do on campus. And one of the biggest things that we do on campus each year that's a highlight for pretty much every student is something called the Drake Relays. This is a massive track and field meet that we host every April. It's been going on for about 110 years. It's one of the largest track and field meets in the world. And it brings uh, some of the best athletes in the world to campus. In 2016, we had 20 athletes at the Drake Relays who were then competing in the Summer Olympics in Brazil. So it's that level of competition. 
But outside that actual event, it's this huge opportunity for Drake students to celebrate our community and celebrate Drake. So this is where we have a lot of cool traditions come into play, uh, with the most notable for most students being something called street painting where we have the street on campus that uh, student organizations get to paint every year. Um, and it looks nice when it's done, the actual painting, but for some reason the tradition is for it to actually be a giant paint fight. So as you can see in this photo, uh, it's easy to get covered in paint, get it all over your hair. I'm a Drake graduate, so I'm speaking from experience. It's a lot of fun, it's a little messy, um, but it's one of those really cool traditions that, um, you know, that tradition along with everything else with the relays, you usually, usually don't find that kind of stuff at a smaller school. Um, so that's a nice part of the experience uh, as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa. And if you haven't been to Des Moines, you should definitely come check it out sometime. I think Des Moines is kind of a secret city for people who haven't been here before. Um, it's a really nice sized city, about six, over 600,000 people. And it's actually the fastest growing city in the Midwest right now. And Drake's campus is located uh, less than 10 minutes from downtown where you know, we're in the heart of the city. So in that city environment, you have a lot to take advantage of both for just entertainment with you know, restaurants and festivals, music venues but also internships and those professional uh, development opportunities. And also there aren't that many college students in Drake does, or in Des Moines, because Drake is the largest four year school in the city. So it's really low level of competition when you're looking for that stuff. Just to finish up, I wanna uh, point out a couple things with our application process. It's a pretty easy application process. Um, we don't charge a fee to apply, so no, nothing you have to pay there. I wanna stress that we are completely test optional. So when you apply to Drake, you can use test scores, an essay or an interview. You pick one of the three, and no matter which you pick, you're gonna get the same consideration for admission and scholarships. So test optional is a great option at Drake. And also when you apply to Drake, you're gonna be getting a scholarship. Any admitted student receives at least $21,000. And then we also have a variety of other scholarships that really bring that, um, that cost down as you go through the process. And finally, if you wanna learn more, we do have opportunities on our website to do virtual visits. And we're also doing some limited on-campus visits right now for seniors as well. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. Evan, thank you very much. And again, as Evan mentioned, if you do have questions, uh, not just for him and, and Drake University, but for any of the presenters this morning, uh, use the Q&A button. And again, if it's specific to a school, make sure you name the school in your uh, question so that they know to answer it. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from the University of St. Mary. All right, good morning. My name is Randolph Caster, and I am the admissions counselor at the University of St. Mary. It's nice to see you guys this morning. Hopefully you can see guys see my screen right here. So we are a small private Catholic school in Leavenworth, Kansas, which is about maybe, oh, 30 minutes away from Kansas City, Kansas, about 45 minutes to an hour away from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, if you know Kansas, it is the, uh, the torn off part. We're right up there by the river. Okay, I can be in Missouri in five minutes if I wanna be. When I say we're small, we're about 650, 750 students on the undergraduate side. We do have a, another campus in Overland Park where we have uh, graduate students and some adult learners. If you count them as well as our doctoral students, we're about 1,200 to 1,300. Uh, though we are small, we recently welcomed the largest incoming class in the history of the University of St. Mary. Uh, we uh, got over 200 uh, freshmen last year, so we uh, have a, quite a big incoming class this year. Uh, so some class sizes were about 20 to 25 on average. So you never have to worry about being in a giant lecture hall uh, with 400 other students or anything. Your professors will always know you on a uh, first name basis. If you ever need help, maybe you didn't understand a lecture or maybe some homework is just really giving you some trouble. It's really easy to go get that extra help from your professor. Uh, we also have tutoring as part of our tuition. Okay, so we, in our brand new Kelleher Learning Commons, uh, you can go in if you're really struggling in math, science, whatever it is, you can find a tutor there for you. And it is at no extra cost to you, it is built right into tuition, okay? Another benefit of a small school like the University of St. Mary is it's really easy to get involved, okay? Uh, you know, a lot of our students, about 70% of our students are student athletes through NAIA, and they, even them, they can get involved in numerous ways. We have fine arts with band, choir, theater, and art. Uh, you can also do a, a student government, campus activity board, uh, campus ministry, uh, Black Student Union, Spanish Club, STEM Club, Phi Beta Lambda, a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, we're also very student focused with our club. So if there is a uh, event or something that you find really fun, maybe you're super passionate about ping pong, we can help you start up a ping pong club on campus. It is not a problem. Okay. 
we are private. Uh, we have a lot of uh, leeway when it comes to scholarshiping. Last year, we gave out over $9 million to our students to help them afford college. Uh, you know, uh, this year, I'm able to give out anywhere between $12,000 to $16,000 based solely on GPA. And then on top of that, we can talk about athletic scholarships, fine arts scholarships, community service scholarships. I can help you find external scholarships, and then we can work with FAFSA, okay? And then we are Catholic. We were founded back in 1850 by the Sisters of Charity of Leavenworth. We're originally an all-girls boarding school, uh, but don't worry if you're a guy. Uh, we are fully co-ed now, okay? Uh, we've been growing since day one. Uh, we have Mass every Sunday and on Wednesdays. You are not required to go. That is completely available to you if you would like to, though, however. Uh, in terms of academics, uh, we have over 40 academic majors. If you go to our website and you just click on academics and undergraduate programs, you can check them out right there. Uh, we kind of specialize in healthcare, as you can see right here with a lot of different things, especially within the nursing field, but we do have a lot of other programs as well. Our top three majors, I would probably say would be nursing, psychology, and biology. Uh, so if that is uh, one of the programs that you are looking to go into, feel free to check out University of St. Mary. Uh, and then in terms of athletics, if you go to our athletics website right here, it's just gospires.com. We have over 20 sports. Our newest athletic events are women's flag football. Just started up this year, so we're excited about that. We've had eSports for about a year and a half now. Very proud about them. Uh, and then also uh, swimming is going on for about two years and that is men and women's swimming. All right, some of the scholarships we offer uh, are uh, our top scholarship is the Jubilee Scholarship. Okay, it is a full ride scholarship. You have to meet two out of three criteria for that. You need to have a 3.7 GPA, a 26 or higher ACT, and then be in the top 10% of your graduating class. Once again, two out of three for that. Uh, you have to be accepted to the university and you also need to apply for that scholarship by December 1st. So if you meet some of those criteria and you're thinking about maybe going for that, uh, the application is open. You just go to our website, stmary.edu slash jubilee. You can get in that. And then our uh, other uh, scholarships are automatic, okay? Uh, the $12,000 to $16,000, it's all based solely on GPA. So once you send in your transcripts, we look at it and boom, it's done. And don't worry if you're, uh, you know, you don't want to send in your GPA yet. You want to really uh, get your GPA up throughout your senior year. That's fine. Uh, if you get accepted tomorrow and then at the end of the school year, you have a better GPA, send us your transcripts. And if you qualify for a higher academic scholarship, we'll get you a higher academic scholarship. We don't lock anything in like that. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, if you have any questions, please leave. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, <laughs> admissions criteria. Uh, we are looking, we are completely test optional now. Okay. We are looking for a uh, 2.75 GPA or higher on a 4.0 scale unweighted. Uh, and that is it. Okay. Now, if you don't quite meet that criteria, don't worry. If you have a 2.5 GPA and uh, an 18 or higher ACT score composite, we'll still get you in. That's not a problem. If you don't quite meet that, we do have conditional admissions as well. Um, so no need to worry there. Okay. If you have any other questions for me, please, please, please uh, shoot me a, a text in the chat. Uh, I'd love to talk with you and hopefully I hear from you soon. Randolph, thank you very much. And again, I'll remind everyone using the Q&A is uh, recommended. Any questions you have, either for whoever's currently presenting or for anyone else presenting today, just name the school in your question when you put it into the Q&A. Next up, we'll hear from the representative from McPherson College. Hi everyone, hopefully everybody can hear me. My name is Josh Hubin. Um, I'm the Director of Admissions here at McPherson College. Um, also a McPherson College alum from way back, uh, much farther back than you guys. Um, thank you all for letting me and my Spider-Man coffee mug join you this morning um, to talk a little bit about McPherson College and, and what we offer. If you don't know about McPherson College, uh, we're a small private four-year located in the middle of Kansas. So uh, I always tell students if you were to throw a dart and hit a bullseye on the state of Kansas, you would pretty much land in McPherson. So here at McPherson College, we have about 800 students. Um, it varies between 800 to 850, depending on the time of year, but um, 800 plus is kind of what we say. 
Um, we have a nice sized campus here in the middle of McPherson, which is a town of uh, about 13,000 people. Um, we have about everything you can think of from an athletic perspective, except for swimming and diving um, and wrestling. Um, we have 30 plus student clubs and organizations uh, to go along with 30 plus areas of study on our campus. Um, we have three Bulldogs. The one you see on your screen right now is Rousey. That one actually lives in my house. Uh, and then we have a couple more that are here on campus named Dudley and, and Onyx. So we have a number of Bulldogs that, that you'll see roaming around campus when you're here. Um, two thirds, a uh, couple important highlights about McPherson. Um, career services is a big emphasis here at McPherson. So two thirds of our graduates here at McPherson secure jobs before graduation. That's about three times the national average. Um, about 98% of our grads are employed within six months of graduation. So that's a really big one. Um, I, you know, you tell students, you tell parents, why do you go to college? You know, to get a good job, to start a career. Uh, we feel like we do that really well here at McPherson. Um, if you're a pre-professional student or someone who's looking to go on to grad school, I think it's like 16 years running now. We've admitted 100% of our students who have applied to grad school into a grad school, so that's great. Um, one highlight that we have as of last year, uh, we have an actual on-campus student health center and clinic uh, that students can walk into whenever they want. Um, that's here on the corner of our campus, a brand new gorgeous building that's been great for students, uh, especially in the in the times we're living in right now. So um, a new, um, I don't want to call it a new major, we've had a health science major for quite some time, but that major has completely been revamped and had an undertaking is now health science and healthcare management, especially with an emphasis on rural healthcare management, which sets up really well for our students in Kansas who are interested in healthcare. Um, and then another new program is our Bulldog Adventures program. Um, provides some awesome opportunities for students to get out of McPherson and explore Kansas in areas that maybe you didn't know were out there. So um, talk a little about Bulldog Adventures. That's kind of our newest extracurricular. So students have done everything from long hikes, um, overnight camping trips, um, to things that are a little more a little more city like like they've gone to sporting events and things like that but um, there's usually an event going on every weekend that's a, a big event that'll get you outside of McPherson whether it's doing things like um, fishing archery hiking um, trail running um, many different things that you can think of the equipment's all provided we have an awesome relationship with uh, Cabela's that provides some of the equipment for our Bulldog Adventures program um, and this is something that's just continuing to grow and grow and grow on our campus, and it's really exciting. McPherson College, um, fun fact that most high school students would never think about, we're the third largest land holding college in the United States of all sizes. So we have a ton of land um, spread out around Kansas in the Flint Hills uh, that we can allow students to go out and do these programs. So it's, it's a really neat um, little kicker for students who are thinking about McPherson. Um, earlier, I mentioned our health science and our revamp program uh, in healthcare management. So we offer an awesome scholarship to students. We give away ten twenty-five thousand dollar per year scholarships to our top our top students who apply for this program. Um, what am I thinking about uh, doing for a career if I'm interested in health science? Well, there's a number of things. So the easy answer is if I don't want to be a doctor or a nurse, this is a program I might look at. So what, what would I be thinking about? So things like being a health educator, um, being a mental health case manager, community health worker, if I want to work in medical records, um, public health, population health, anything you can really think of um, in the medical field where I'm not a nurse or a doctor or maybe a tech, you know, so there's a lot of people that help the healthcare industry run. And how do I how do I get one of those jobs? Well, this is an awesome avenue for that. So majoring in health science or our health care management program um, is an awesome avenue to get into that field. Like I mentioned earlier, 30 plus different academic programs, areas of study, and then we have 11 different pre-professional programs. So whether you know what you want to do, um, or you want to come in as undecided, we have something that will probably fit the bill for you as a student. You'll see some unique things in here like automotive restoration. So we're the only school in the country that offers a four-year bachelor's degree in automotive restoration. So we accept about 40 students a year into that program and we get a couple hundred applications. Um, so that's a really cool limited admissions program. 
Another program that's really unique in here is our education program. You know, most schools offer education for students who want to be teachers. What makes ours a little bit different is we have a program that we call three plus one. So our students here at McPherson who are interested in education can actually come to MC, major in education, and they'll graduate in four years with their bachelor's as well as their master's degree. So that's a really cool little tweak to the program. In four years, you can be out of here with six years worth of schooling. So that's unique. Um, talk a little bit about scholarships. So our students are eligible for anywhere from eight to $15,000 a year in merit scholarships. All of our students will receive a merit scholarship, okay? And then um, our presidential scholarship. Most of our students are eligible for a presidential scholarship, which ranges anywhere from $500 to $6,000 a year. And then we also offer co-curricular scholarships, whether that be for athletics or major scholarships or extracurriculars like music, choir, theater, things like that. Um, so you can get up to 8,000 in those areas too. So you can see how scholarships will stack up quickly. If you can make it to one of our presidential scholarship days, we also give away a full tuition scholarship at those days as well. And then the last thing I'll mention is our student debt project here at McPherson. So our student debt project is something that's pretty unique. And I think we're the only school in Kansas who's doing anything like this right now. Um, but it's basically an opportunity for students to pay down um, and learn financial literacy to eliminate their student loan debt. So right now we have about 150 students in the program. On average, they've reduced their student debt by about $10,000 a piece. And we have a number of students who will graduate debt free from a small private college, which is something that's not normal that you don't hear of regularly. Um, the, the 10 cent version of how this works, I'm a student who pays part of my tuition out of my own pocket. For every dollar that you as a student pay towards your tuition here at McPherson College, uh, the college will match 25 cents on the dollar. So let's say you pay $4,000 a year, the college will contribute another $1,000. Josh, I'm sorry to jump in. We're we're pretty much over time here. Oh, wanna... I apologize. That's it. That's all I've got. Come visit. <laughs> Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And again, to remind everyone, if you have a question for any of our uh, presenters today, just put it in the Q and A. Use the Q and A button and name the school if it's specific to one school. Up next, now we'll hear from the representatives from Newman University. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Larkin. I'm an admissions counselor and an alumna at Newman University. Um, let me get started here. So who we are, we're a small liberal arts college. We have about 1200 students in our undergraduate programs. Our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one, which to me was super important because I came from a small school and we have an average class size of 18. So you're really going to get those personalized experiences with your professors. They're not gonna know you as a number. They're gonna know your name. If you have any cats or dogs, they're gonna wanna know their names too and get photos. And so we're a really small, close community here. We are located in Wichita, Kansas, which is actually the largest city in Kansas by population. So I like to say Newman is a small community within the bigger city that is Wichita. We are a Catholic college. We are named for St. John Henry Newman and founded by a group of sisters called the Adorers of the Blood of Christ in 1933. We are known for our students have 20% less loan debt than the national average. I was able to graduate with no loan debt. So if that just shows you I'm not from here and I lived in the dorms all four years. So if that just shows you how affordable Newman is, um, that's a good point. We also have high employment. So 71% of our students are employed in their field of study upon graduation. I'm one of the examples. That's the biggest thing. So you don't just want to go to college just to get a degree and do something. You want to make sure that you're doing something you're passionate about. With that, we do have over 40 different undergraduate programs. Some of our biggest programs are science uh, pre-medicine program, our nursing and allied health programs, education, which we were founded on, and sports communication. I graduated with two majors, a minor and from the honors program, and I'm not the exception. So many students at Newman take similar paths or do similar things so that they're able to expand their worldview and, and their um, ticket to get into a variety of different careers. We also have a variety of pre-professional programs. Um, so some of our biggest ones, like I said, is pre-medicine, pre-law and pre-physical therapy, but we have a variety of other ones that students can partake in. 
Some of the common misconceptions that come with Newman, when you think private and Catholic, sometimes those can equate with expensive. We try to make that not so. Here at Newman, we try to be affordable. So we do have a free application and we give generous scholarships. Along with that, 99% of our students receive financial assistance of some type. Another misconception is that it's hard to apply or it's hard to get in. For acceptance, we are test optional. We were the first school in Kansas to be test optional. Uh, so this isn't anything new to us. Uh, when COVID hit, we kept being test optional. Uh, and so we don't need your ACT or your SAT score. I know it's been really hard for some students to be able to take those tests because they've been pushed back. No problem here at Newman. We also have rolling admission. You could apply today. You could apply the day before school. Don't recommend the second one, but you definitely could. And we would evaluate and be able to see how we could get you into Newman and get you into classes. We also recruit for fit. We wanna make sure that Newman's the right fit for you. Um, instead of working to try to meet all of these quotas, we really wanna focus on you as a student individually. Like I said, we have a ton of scholarships here. Every student receives a scholarship upon acceptance based on their GPA. If you do happen to have an ACT that's a little bit higher than your GPA in this table, we'll take that into account. So you can get a scholarship anywhere from 12 to $16,000 just on acceptance. We do have special scholarships, so if you are a high achieving student and you're looking to get a full tuition scholarship, that's our St. Newman scholarship. You have to have a 3.9 GPA and a super score ACT of 29 to apply for that one. We also have a service-based scholarship, so the community leader scholarship that's founded or sponsored by our founders, the ASC sisters, that's a $17,500 scholarship. That one doesn't have an ACT or an SAT requirement. You just have to have to have a 3.0 GPA and a community service or leadership background. We also have a variety of scholarships that focus on interests. So you could get an art or a theater scholarship. You just have to audition or show your portfolio and that's $11,000 plus. We also have music scholarships and that's an audition as well. It's about $2,000. We also have an honors program that comes with a scholarship of $1,000. So for that one, you have to have a 3.7 GPA and a 25 plus ACT. With that, we also offer a ton of athletic scholarships depending on the team you're at um, and what level you're at. We are NCAA Division II, which is kind of unusual for a small private school. Um, and so we're able to offer both academic and athletic scholarships, which can really bring the cost down of your education here at Newman. We do have 18 different athletic teams between men and women. And one thing that I think is pretty cool is we're the only private collegiate um, school that has a tri-team. So for triathlon, they do all of, the, all of the things. And so that's really neat. A lot of our athletes will live on campus. So our freshman or first time student hall is Karuchi Hall. I live there, you could too. Um, and so it is suite style. So you're only sharing a bathroom with three people. I never, I really underestimated the power of having your own bathroom until I went to college. It is really important. You'll underestimate it too, I promise. But we also have laundry facilities on campus um, in the building along with pool and ping pong, internet and printers. We have a few new programs here at Newman that we're working into. One is called Navigator, it's your Newman GPS. It's a supercharged support system to help you guide your way through college and beyond. So part of that is helping you get internships, helping you get shadowing opportunities, and make sure that you really have a dedicated support team that's helping you. We also have our first to go program. So if you're a first generation college student like me, this program is help, like designed to help turn your dreams of graduating into a reality. We also have state-of-the-art science facilities. The students from actually from KU School of Medicine and the Wichita campus will come use our facilities. So it is a seamless transition when many of our students will get into med school at KU School of Med and go right there and use our facilities as well. We've also been working on this campaign called Together We Soar, and this is how we are dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we're focusing on mask wearing, social, having a social contract, having in-person socially distanced classes, along with online hybrid model, um, having an on-campus quarantine space with private rooms, meals delivered to you, accommodating faculty since we are so small, um, having testing right on campus and support not only for the physical, but also the mental health. We are, our applications are already open and then our deadline for special scholarships is December 1st. You can find us on every social media platform at Fly Newman U. We post a lot of scholarship opportunities and events. 
And this is the coolest thing and the last thing I'll talk to you about today. We do have this thing called custom view book. So if you go to newmanu.edu slash view, you can put in majors, clubs and organizations you're interested in, housing, athletics, et cetera, and it will make a personalized look at what your Newman experience would be. And I've seen this, I've taken it, and it was pretty accurate to what my actual Newman experience was. So if you have any extra questions or you want to inquire about anything, just go to newmanu.edu and we'd be so glad to talk to you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Emily, thank you very much. And I want to remind everyone to use the Q&A button if you have questions. And for any of our representatives today, and again, if it's for a specific school, just make sure you uh, note that in your question. Next up, we'll hear from Bethel College. Nate, you're still muted. Yeah, Russ, I, uh, I've got the volume, but it's not letting me start the video. It says the host has stopped it. Well, let me take a look and see if I can. You should be able, if you're playing a video, you should be able to play it. it the... No, I was just trying to start my own video. Oh, hold on. You should be. Maybe it's easiest to go to Southwestern and try to come back. Could be. Let's try one more thing. So. Sure. Oh. Let's try that. Here we go. Can you see me? Um, yeah, we can see. Yes. It. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry about that. That's okay. I think it was because okay. I was clicking on the wrong one. So I will. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I'm trying to share my screen now. I don't know if you guys can see my can screen see, or not. We can see your screen. Okay. Excellent. Well, then I'll, I'll get started. Hello and good morning from Bethel College. Uh, my name is Eric Preheim. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Bethel and I'll tell you a little bit more about my journey to Bethel in just a minute, uh, but I first want to give you some general information about Bethel. Um, so uh, Bethel is a private four-year college in North Newton, Kansas, which is about 30 minutes uh, north of Wichita. You can see uh, the map of Kansas there um, in the bottom right hand corner. We're, we're, we're pretty central in Kansas. Uh, we have about 500 students on campus from all over the country and around the world. Most of our students will live on the dorms. We're a very on-campus focused community. Uh, most students will participate in a, a variety of athletics, fine arts, or other activities. Uh, Bethel is affiliated with the Mennonite Church, which is a branch of Christianity. And although we were founded by Mennonites, only about 25% of our students identify uh, with that denomination now. So even though we are a religious college, there, there's no requirement to attend chapels or uh, church services, although there are many opportunities to get involved uh, in both if that's uh, something you'd be interested in. Uh, because of our beautiful campus and small student population, Bethel really is a tight-knit uh, focused on community. Uh, you'll get to know just about everyone on campus really within your first semester or two. Uh, finally, Bethel's mascot is the Thresher. This is a very unique mascot. Uh, the Thresher is based on a historic farm tool and the people who used it, symbolizing hard work, community, and dedication. So you'll see the, uh, the threshing stone uh, with the wheat as part of that logo in the top left there. Real quickly about myself, uh, I'm a 2016 grad of Bethel College. I ended up majoring in business and psychology, but like many of you, I was undecided when I came to Bethel, uh, and I had an advisor from day one that was able to help me uh, try out lots of different areas of study, and finally settle on business and psychology. Like most students at Bethel, I was involved in uh, activities. Uh, I played sports, uh, soccer all four years, uh, and started the disc golf club, and was uh, very actively involved in disc golf uh, while I was a student here at Bethel. Uh, one of my favorite memories of uh, being a student at Bethel was going to Italy with the Renaissance Art History course. 
uh, we went to uh, Venice and Rome and Florence and traveled all throughout Italy and went to all the museums. Uh, and all students will have the opportunity to have some sort of cross-cultural experience, including things outside of the country. So uh, when it comes to academics, uh, Bethel has a really strong history. We have a variety of majors that you can choose from with over 40 areas of study. Uh, some of our top areas of study include uh, education, nursing, pre-med, and social work. And we actually just added a brand new biochemistry and molecular biology major uh, that was developed specifically for students going into the medical or health fields after college. Uh, fun fact, one of our admissions counselors uh, here at Bethel just found out last week that she had earned early acceptance into med school at KU, uh, continuing a long line of Bethel students uh, going on to med school and becoming successful doctors or um, other areas in, in, in the health fields. Uh, but this new biochemistry and molecular biology major uh, should be an extension of, of our strength in um, the health fields. So um, we, we also have, if, if you know, being a small school, uh, you might have a very specific major that you're looking for, perhaps art history or something like that. We have an I major um, that allows you to, to create your own major in something that Bethel doesn't traditionally offer. And you're, you're doing that in consultation with professors and the dean, um, and, and being able to create your own path. Um, no matter what, you'll have your own academic advisor from day one. We also offer free tutoring services and free counseling and mental health services on campus, which I think is so important. Uh, you can see Bethel was recently voted number one in the state of Kansas for bachelor degrees and number one in the state uh, of Kansas for students who go on to earn grad degrees of MD or PhD. Um, so we've, we've got that strength in academics. Um, but I think beyond the classroom, what's really important uh, when you're thinking about Bethel students is Bethel students are involved. And that can mean a lot of different things. Uh, it can mean sports, music, art, theater, forensics, and more. Uh, we've, done, we've done really well in athletics and recently won our third straight Champions of Character Award from the NAI. NAI is the class of athletic sports. So we would play schools like McPherson and other schools uh, in the state of Kansas and beyond the state. Uh, but the conference is the KCAC, the Kansas Collegiate Athletic Conference. In addition to sports, we have a number of choral and instrumental ensembles, and our theater department puts on two yearly shows. I actually just watched this weekend as the theater department did a, uh, a live stream theater performance uh, in the age of COVID. Things have been a little bit different, but uh, still turned out really well. Um, in addition to traditional performance routes, uh, students can also get involved in student activities council, student government, various clubs, school paper, the Collegian, uh, literary magazine, Bethel's very own radio station, uh, and more. And if you're not seeing something that's listed that you'd be interested in, uh, you can start your own club and find students who share your interests. Uh, so now I wanna talk a little bit about money, which can be scary, especially for students thinking about a private college, uh, but it really doesn't have to be that way, especially at Bethel. Uh, Bethel's dedicated to helping students make college affordable. And we're doing that by offering a ton of scholarships. In fact, 100% of students uh, who attend Bethel get financial aid. Uh, so all students are an academic scholarship. And this year we are test optional. Uh, we recognize what, what the uh, COVID pandemic has done uh, to your ability to take tests. And so uh, your, your academic scholarship is based off of your application and then your high school GPA. Uh, so send us those things and we can get that uh, put together. We also offer scholarships in sports and music and theater and career areas as well. Um, we've got a whole set of career pathways, uh, scholarships for those interested in something beyond sports and music and the fine arts. Uh, the FAFSA is open and you can see uh, Bethel's code there, 001905. Uh, certainly recommend you filling that out, sending that to us so we can get a uh, financial aid award out to you. I know we're close to time here. Uh, so just finish up with a couple of fun facts. Uh, there's opportunities to study abroad. Like I said, that was something that I had the opportunity to do. There's a, white, uh, a walking and hiking trail on campus at uh, the Sand Creek Trail. We have tons of traditions. Um, Mud Slam Volleyball, you can see pictured there, is, a, is always a fun event in the spring. Uh, and 100% of our students get hands-on learning through internships, research, and public performance. Um, if you want to learn more about Bethel, I'd recommend that you apply. It's free. Uh, it just takes 10 or 15 minutes uh, and send in your transcripts. Uh, no ACT or SAT required this year. We can get you accepted and start working on your award. And most importantly, 
um, throughout um, the, the COVID pandemic, we've, we've altered our visits, but we still are able to offer in-person visits as well as virtual visits. Just go to BethelKS.edu slash visit. We'll customize a visit to your uh, specific interests. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the chat. And I look forward to talking with you more. Eric, thank you very much. And very much. then and we will uh, uh, continue uh, with our final presentation of the session. And that will be Southwestern College. Hey, good morning. I'm Rodney Warsham with Southwestern College. I am. Good morning. I'm Rodney Warsham with Southwestern College, and I am blessed to be celebrating my 27th year at Southwestern College. I just put a niece through Southwestern who is a philosophy and religion major who is now at OU Law School. And I have a son who is a sophomore at Southwestern in computer science and a daughter who is a communications major and playing golf and in discipleship at Southwestern. So I have a lot of history at Southwestern. I just wanna spend a couple of minutes just talking with you. I don't have a lot of uh, slides or don't wanna just rattle off stats in the, in the next few minutes, but just talk to you about SC. Southwestern College, we are uh, located in Winfield, Kansas. So we're about 45 minutes south of Wichita. We're not a KU, K-State, WSU, large university. We're not a two-year junior college associate degree. We're a four-year institution, but we're a small to medium-sized college of about 600 students. In one of my niece's classes at Southwestern, she had four students in the class. So you definitely cannot skip class and think the professor will not notice at Southwestern. What you're receiving, what you're paying for is individual, one-on-one -on -one attention. Our teacher-student ratio is 12 to 1, and that means there would be about 11 other students in a class besides yourself and a full-time instructor. I do want to mention that the best way to learn about Southwestern is to come for a visit. We are currently open. Our doors are open, and we have the college has gone out of its way to be safe, uh, we have tested all of our employees, all of our current students, all of our athletes numerous times for COVID. We are wearing masks. We are socially distancing both on the campus and in the classroom. But the best way to, to decide if Southwestern is right for you, you know, everybody's view book looks good. Everybody's website looks good is to, is to actually step on our campus and check it out for yourself. We uh, have visits Monday through Friday and we also have Saturday visits. So maybe you wanna visit Newman or Bethel or one of the other colleges who've presented today on a Friday, and then you come to Southwestern College and visit on a Saturday. We're happy for you and your family to visit on a Saturday. Uh, when you uh, visit our campus, you can meet with coaches, activity directors, professors, and if you prefer to meet them with Zoom or FaceTime or to talk with them through a text or an email, we can do that but we do have ambassadors that can give you a tour of the campus. Our residence halls are really, really strong for our, our freshman students. Our freshman men live in Wallingford and that's set up where it's you and your roommate, and then you have a bathroom and two suite mates. So no community bathrooms. They all come with cable, uh, free internet, uh, free wireless internet, uh, your heating and your air units are all controlled by your own room. So, you know, living in Kansas, it might be hot one day and cold the next or cold in the morning and hot in the afternoon. And so you have the control of the temperature from your room. And then for our ladies, they live in Cole Hall. And for ladies, it would be you and your roommate and your own bathroom. So not even a suite situation. And we have a lot of apartments on campus. Again, we're located just about 45 minutes south of Wichita. We're located in Winfield, Kansas, which um, has a population of about 12, 13,000. Uh, Walmart, fast food restaurants, eight cinema movie theater. There's lots to do in Winfield, but a lot of times students will find that their car is parked on Monday and on Friday, it's still in the same spot because they're involved in a sport, they're involved in an activity. Um, we have chapel every Wednesday at 11 o'clock and we're currently holding chapel outside and so if you're in FCA or you think you might be interested in worship outreach, your, your church youth group, 
Discipleship would be a great program for you. And so that's every Wednesday at 11 o'clock. But again, you're welcome to visit anytime, Monday through Friday or on a Saturday. We, um, our current semester will end at Thanksgiving. And so we really encourage students to come on campus to make a visit and apply to college before Thanksgiving. And one of the reasons is we have four full tuition scholarships that we award to incoming students for the year. They're not based on GPA, they're not based on ACT, they're based uh, on an interview and an essay. And so to find out more about the full tuition scholarship, the best way to excel and kind of separate yourself from the pack in the interview uh, is to come to campus. You may find that you struggle a little bit on the interview if you haven't been on our campus. So on December 1, our full tuition scholarships will be available. Those will be available online. And then we will also be mailing those out to all of our incoming students. Even if you don't win one of the full tuition scholarships, which are renewable for all four years, you receive an additional $1,000 renewable scholarship just for coming to the competition. So whether Southwestern is your first choice or your third choice or your fifth choice, I would encourage you to throw your name in the hat and just see what happens. Four students, like I said, are going to win a full tuition scholarship. We do also offer academic scholarships and that's based on your GPA. We like to see a 2.6 or higher GPA to be accepted to Southwestern College. We will waive your application fee at this point. So if you apply, uh, we'll go ahead and waive that app. We're waiving the apps the whole month of October. Uh, we also offer activity grants. The majority of our students participate in some type of activity. And we also offer church matching scholarships. So again, I would encourage you to go to beabuilder.com and apply for admission, set up a visit, and you and your parents come to Southwestern College. My name is Rodney Warsham again, and I am the admissions counselor for the entire state of Kansas. So if you are from a high school, whether it be a private school, home school, or a public school, I will be working with you and your family. I would be happy to talk with your parents about scholarship opportunities, the FAFSA, visit, enrollment, by phone, by FaceTime, by Zoom, whatever works best for you. The last thing I would say is we're currently, we've got a contest going on on our Southwestern College High School Senior Class of 2021. We're giving away free t-shirts, free hats. So go and join our Facebook group and uh, for a chance and an opportunity to win a free t-shirt. Everybody likes free stuff as a high school senior. So I hope to see you apply to Southwestern. And most of all, I hope to see you on our campus in the next seven weeks before Thanksgiving break begins so that you are ready to apply for that full tuition scholarship on December 1. Thank you. Thanks, Rodney. Appreciate it. And thank you to everyone for joining us this morning. I know we went a little over, but we wanted to get everybody in. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. Be sure to sign up for additional ones, same place you signed up for this session. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings, again, at the same website that you signed up for this one. Again, thank you to all of our presenters and thank you for joining us this morning. Have a good rest of your day.